Welcome to WebStarPress, speed up WordPress site and not just that, make your site load faster and fix page speed issues in single click. Enable gzip compression and browser caching, take care of render blocking, critical CSS and JavaScript and a lot more without digging into a lot of technical details. Speeding up WordPress site is one thing, but improving page speed score, performance, accessibility and such metrics is another thing. If you want to improve page speed score and site performance and target is to have good score on tools like Google Page Speed Insights and GT Metrics, then this video is for you. To only improve website speed, we can use WP Super Cache plugin or Hyper Cache plugin. These will work, but now challenge is to improve page speed score and for that I will not use Hyper Cache or WP Super Cache. Professionally, page speed score is checked using Google Page Speed Insights, GT Metrics, and Google Chrome Lighthouse tool. In this video, we will look into that. But before that, if you like WordPress, like this video and subscribe to receive updates because I am bringing you similar content that can help you grow in this area. And it will also help me understand if you like such content or not. Likes and comments are indication for me to create more videos on similar topic. Okay, back to the topic. First of all, let's see initial report. This is our website. We will copy the URL, page speed insights tool, enter the URL and hit analyze button. Also, from GT Matrix, enter URL, test your site. For mobile, performance is 71, accessibility 97, best practices 83, according to Page Speed Insights. For desktop, performance 95, accessibility 97, best practices 100%. And SEO is different matter. We can improve SEO from WordPress admin by improving on page SEO. And according to GT Metrics, grade is B, performance 78%. Structure 95%, content full paint, 2.2 seconds. So, my first choice would be plugins add new, search for page speed ninja, install and activate. To initialize page speed ninja, open its settings page. And out of the box, it asks you to select cache mode or profile preset. Safe, Compact, Optimal, Ultra Experimental. Let's go for Compact Mode. Remote Critical CSS Generation. To have Critical CSS regenerated automatically, send anonymous statistics. Save. Page Speed Ninja is optimizing website in background. For desktop, it improved from 76% to 95%. After it's done optimizing your site, if save button is highlighted, click it to save the settings. This plugin improves website in these areas like avoid landing page redirects, enable compression, leverage browser caching, reduce server response time, it minified CSS, it minified HTML, it minified JavaScript, it eliminated render blocking JavaScript and CSS, and above the fold content, optimized images, prioritize visible content and for usability it tries to optimize website even more we've got advanced tab from advanced tab you can further control each and every aspect of website caching for example in general section we've got these options you can optimize website caching settings manually Also, we have got cache presets here, safe, compact, optimal, ultra, experimental. Easily choose any preset from here and hit save button. Let's go for optimal. Reload our site. Let's check its performance on page speed insights and GT matrix. Analyze and retest. 
and now for mobile performance is 74 percent accessibility score is 97 best practice is 83 and for desktop we've got 93 97 175 according to gt matrix now grade is a performance 98 percent structure 96 percent and largest contentful paint is 1.1 second so site performance has improved significantly so this plugin has got general mood and advanced mood in advanced mode it has got cache presets to save you time yet improving your website to maximum possible level let's go to plugins and deactivate the plugin page speed ninja to try another one reload the site refresh this test and refresh this report Our second choice would be Nitro Pack. Before we activate it, this is our current report. And according to GT Matrix, B grade. Install and activate Nitro Pack plugin. Now we'll go to Nitro Pack settings page to connect it to the service. Connect to Nitro Pack. Register with Nitro Pack for free. At this page, scroll down and click add this free plan. After you have created your account, sign in. After registration and providing your website URL, go back and hit this button again connect to Nitro Pack. Connection done. Cache a warm up, enable it. You can further customize what post page types should be optimized by clicking this gear icon. And here we have got optimization mode, standard, medium, strong, ludicrous, and manual. We have set it to ludicrous, a predefined configuration aiming to achieve the fastest possible speed, prioritizing rendering. And that's it, you don't have to do anything else. Let's reload our site. All right, so let's retest our site. Analyze and retest. And as you can see, for mobile, this time we've got score of 92 for performance, for accessibility, 97, best practices, 92 for mobile. And for desktop, 100 score for performance, for accessibility, 97 score, and best practices, 100%. And for GT Matrix, as you can see, A grade, 99% performance, 100% structure, 996 millisecond, largest contentful paint. Out of the box, without any special configuration, by just enabling Nitro Pack, you can see performance upgrade and boost and the score that we are able to achieve for these two tools gt matrix and page speed insights so do these plugins work everywhere in most cases yes but if any setting or configuration fails at any point and site breaks you need to know what to do to revive site back use ftp or hosting control panel to delete plugin and site will be back like Like if site breaks, you need to use FTP or control panel from your web hosting account and go to WP content, go to plugins, and here are these folders for these plugins Nitro Pack and Page Speed Ninja. If any plugin breaks your site, just remove it from plugins directory and your site will be back. So these plugins have specific use case. If you are aiming to get page speed score more than 90, and you have to show how site scores in website performance monitoring tools. Then use these plugins. Use predefined preset cache settings or adjust from detailed options to speed up website and score better at the same time. WP Super Cache or Hyper Cache or any other simple cache plugin have got their use cases. But these two plugins 
that I showed you in this video are best to get good report out of these performance testing tools. Okay, I hope it helped. If you like to watch WordPress related videos, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.